We can express all classical dynamical variables in terms of position and momentum. For example, the kinetic energy of a particle can be calculated using p squared over 2m. We also know that the expectation value for x and p is calculated by these integrals. The expression between psi star and psi is an operator, which is the representation of something in quantum mechanics. To calculate the expectation value of any quantity like f, we can simply replace p by h bar over i and the partial derivative of x and put it between psi star and psi. For example, to find expectation value for kinetic energy in quantum mechanics, all we need to do is to put p operator, which is shown by p hat, into the kinetic energy formula. And then put the result between psi star and psi and takes its integral from minus infinity to infinity with respect to dx. Now we have the expectation value for kinetic energy. So far, we know that the expectation value of momentum is equal to m times the time derivative of the expectation value of position. Now, let's calculate the time derivative of momentum and see if it resembles any equation in classical mechanics. What we need to calculate this integral is the expectation value of p and the Schrodinger equation. And of course, it's in conjugate. Because if we take the derivative of the expectation value of p, the partial derivatives of psi with respect to t appear. Pay attention that for this term, we can use the partial derivatives in the order we desire, and we can use them interchangeably. Now, let's substitute the Schrodinger equation into the integral. It gives these five integrals. After two integrations by parts, The green integrals cancel each other. Also, these two integrals cancel out. And finally, we have this expression. By looking at these equations, it seems that expectation values obey classical laws, which is called Ehrenfest theorem. As an example, if we add a constant potential v0 to the potential, psi changes but the expectation value doesn't change because psi squared remains the same. Actually, something seems to have changed in the quantum world, but in our world of measurements, everything seems to be unchanged.